Um, I think that right now the state of mind uh, of everybody is pretty scared. This next stretch from well, in Independence to Mammoth is supposed to be really, really hard. Uh, I think there's like eight passes that you have to do in eight days. Um, it's 120 miles and in eight days that's like 15 miles a day so uh, that's a lot in the snow <laughs> so I don't know I feel like uh, a lot of people have been quitting on this stretch so yeah I don't know I'm not really feeling that great right now with all my friends leaving and just knowing that I have to do this side trail again and um, and that it's gonna be extremely hard afterwards it's not very motivating to say the least so hopefully hopefully everything will be fine after this stretch I feel like uh, it gets easier there's less elevation so probably a bit less snow we'll see um, what I'm also not really excited about is waking up really really early to leave um, so that the snow doesn't get slushy and if we have to do 15 mile days I don't even know what you know what time we're gonna have to get up and what time we're gonna have to finish it's gonna be huge huge days um, yeah tomorrow I think we're gonna probably wake up around 4 it seems a bit late for this I don't I don't like waking up early especially when it's really cold so <sighs> this is what the campsite looks like <laughs> so obviously we can't camp here I mean at some point we might have to camp in the snow but I would rather not I'm drying out everything. My cap is completely crooked. I don't know. Um, so we just, I just finished Cure Surge Pass Trail for the second time. But the first time was to go to Bishop, second time to come back. I did Cure Surge Pass twice, and you know what? I hated that pass because it's so long and steep and hard. So I would do, I was just telling um, other hikers, I would rather do Forester Pass a hundred times than Cure Surge Pass one other time because I uh, hated it. Um, and, it's, and it's like seven miles, so it's no positive mile of the PCT so it's not really like I'm hiking but I'm not making any mileage I'm just coming back to the trail I've just come back to the trail waiting for everyone else to get here so we have arrived at to our campsite uh, we need to find small patches of dirt, snow-free land, like this, to camp. Tell me you want to climb up the Glen Pass. We made it to Glen Pass. Hill thing. Okay. Yeah. I want to get up on, so it's like one third. There's a camp at one third. Yeah. Okay, let's look to the And we... Uh, this way, all the way down there. Coming down. Another little marmot. So cute. We have a little water crossing here. Oh, fishy! The trail ends here and goes back here. We 
are currently stuck because of a river behind me. It's really, really powerful. And so it's very tricky to cross. Um, yeah, we're kind of stuck right now. It's 2 p.m. so it's like the snow's melting so much that it's not a good hour to do river crossings. It's better to do them early in the morning. After hiking in the snow pretty much all day, every day for the past three days, we're now rock rocking, walking on an actual dirt road. <laughs> so nice. We lost a lot of elevation, that's why. Um, and we also ended up doing that river crossing by doing um, sort of a human chain. And it was fine. My toes were absolutely freezing. But now they're, they're okay. I'm so happy to be actually walking on dirt. There's a couple of deer over here. They don't really seem to care about us. There's a thunderstorm right now, so thankfully I'm not elevated, well, at all, um, but it's just, it's 5 p.m. We started hiking at 4.30 a.m. and we were not even going to make it to the camp where we had planned, which was 12 miles away from, from us, because yeah, the snow, and yeah, I feel miserable right now. I feel like we're making no miles. Um, if we camp at the next campsite, it means we have to wake up like at 2 a.m. to do the other pass, and it means we have a river crossing bright, bright and early in the morning, and. Oh, I saw a chip chipmunk just run towards me. Um, yeah, and so we're kind of stuck. Um, I don't know. I don't want to hike anymore right now. It's pouring. It's not great. This is what we're gonna cross over. Oh, one person at a time on the bridge. That's that's pretty cool. All right. Well, we don't have to cross this, thankfully. Actually, we did have to cross it. Right here. Right now we are pretty lucky with the river crossings, although we did like four yesterday, five. But see this right here is a snow bridge, and if it wasn't here, we have to cross this. Uh. <laughs> And softly hit the tree. Yes, nice. Yeah, my feet were not. So this is South Fork King River, King's River. We're meant to cross it um, actually twice, so we're not crossing it at all. This is a very dangerous river. Um, in 2017, a PCT hiker died here. Uh, she drowned, so. Yeah, we don't want to risk it, so we're just hiking on the on this side and um, off trail until the trail gets back on this side. Better safe than sorry. So, just a little recap of the past couple of days. Um, it was really, really hard. <laughs> Yesterday we left camp at 4.30 a.m. and got to camp at 
7.30 p.m. So that's a big day of hiking and we didn't do that many miles, it was just that the snow, the snow was really slushy and going upwards um, and the pass was, yeah, we had a pass also yesterday. Um, so yesterday was really, really tiring. Um, I was really angry at everyone. Um, and we had to wake up at 2 a.m. to do um, Pincho Pass, which we did this morning. Uh, it was quite long, it was about six miles to the top. Not very sketchy, but just exhausting. I actually prefer when passes are like flat and then straight up, like Forrester. And so yeah, we did that this morning. And then um, we got here uh, on the sort of base of Mather Pass um, around 2.30 p.m. So we can like chill and um, eat and probably go to bed at like 5 um, because we have to wake up tomorrow um, at 2 to do Mather Pass. So yeah, it's better with my sunglasses on because otherwise I cannot open my eyes with all this sun and snow. Um, yeah, just for, you know, inf FYI, for PCT hikers, I don't know if PCT hikers are gonna, in 2019, are gonna watch this video, but, um, yeah, right now the Sierra is really, really tough. Uh, we are not that many hikers in it, past um, Bishop, I think, past Kearsarge Pass. Um, a lot of people are still thinking of um, flipping, because of the water crossings, the river crossings. Um, right now the river crossings are pretty bad. I mean, we did f five yesterday and like three of them were really, really sketchy. And t two of them, if we had uh, slipped, we would have probably died. Yesterday we met a ranger who said that um, the snow melting peak is gonna be in about two to three weeks. So right now it's June, it, well, yesterday was June 17. So, you know, early to mid July, it's gonna be terrible um, for the river crossings. It's gonna be, the rivers are gonna be huge, 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 and it's gonna be really, really dangerous. So um, be warned about that, be prepared, because there might not be as much snow, but river crossings, I mean, it's not only is it, you know, potentially very dangerous, not potentially, very dangerous. Um, it's also a lot of time of, you know, doing strategies to how to get past it. Uh, someone goes in to try to see if the water's strong, and then if it's too strong, we try to like hike up for a bit to see what's out there, and then we like it's. It's not something you do in just like five minutes and it's tough and it's done. It's like something that takes sometimes, I mean yesterday we spent probably 45 minutes around next to this crossing figuring out what to do. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a lot of effort, a lot of time, so um, not only is it dangerous but it's also, yeah, a lot of, a lot of time wasted. Um, like the snow, when you hike past 10, pretty much, it's it gets slushy and it's... You just do like one mile an hour because, you know, you can't... You just you just can't hike quick on this type of snow. So, um, yeah, that's the situation in the Sierras right now, if, if you know, anyone, anyone is interested. Okay, I think my water is... Nah, it's not quite done. I'm having Idahoans potatoes for lunch slash dinner and I love it. It's my new favorite um, food to peep. Mm. Baby Reds is my favorite one and it's also Filter's favorite and so whenever we get to town I always <laughs> go grocery shopping before him and grab all the Baby Reds and he's like, Joker! Did you get all the Baby Reds? And I'm like, yeah. Um, now I usually leave him like one or two, but yeah, food is my priority.